all this is dr mobin sayed from drbean.com welcome to one more show so today i wanted to summarize the exosome and spike protein from the vaccinated cells uh, study i had done the detail of it a few days ago and there were a lot of uh, comments to do a 10 minute summary so i'm going to try to do a 10 minute summary very quickly here is the study this is the journal of immunology cutting edge circulating exosome with covid spike protein are included by biontech vaccination prior to development of antibodies sorry i shouldn't say included induced in novel mechanism for immune activation by mrna vaccines this is the basic discussion that i'm going to go over so what did they prove or see or observe the researchers saw through the transmission electron microscope they saw that the cells that receive the messenger rna vaccine they produce something that is called exosome exosome is a small particle that comes out of a cell it is also called an extracellular vesicle vesicles are small t- pockets small uh, purses within the cell just like we have our wallets and purses there are small purses or small pockets within the cell that contain various things now this is a unique mechanism this exosome that comes out of the cell and has spike protein or pieces of spike proteins on it it circulates in the blood and of course that means it goes everywhere now does it come out of the blood vessels and go to various tissues or not that is what this uh, this study did not share they did discuss about these exosome going to the spleen where the immune cells in the spleen macrophages dendritic cells other cells they pick up these exosomes to kind of clear them out and in that process immune activation occurs so this is from the researchers point of view this is a novel mechanism of messenger rna vaccines instead of in addition to the normal general mechanism that is understood so this is the basic summary that the cells produce exosomes and exosomes have spike protein and the spike proteins go in the blood and they circulate now what is the normal expected mechanism the expected mechanism is that let's say we get the spike protein here in the deltoid when we not the spike protein the messenger rna vaccine when we get the vaccine injected the lipid nanoparticle will enter a cell some cell that is there muscle cell of uh, fibroblast macrophages whatever cells are there once it enters the cell within the cell the lipid nanoparticle breaks down and messenger rna comes out within the cell and then cells uses that uh, genetic information to make spike proteins these spike proteins within the cell enter another compartment of the cell which is called endosome and they are broken down there then pieces of those broken material are shown on the surface of the cell this is normal expected mechanism in this specific study what they found was that the cell is not only just showing the pieces on their surface instead those tiny boats if you will tiny balls just like lipid nanoparticles small particles come out of the cell and these particles have the spike proteins or pieces of spike proteins attached to them and now these particles are circulating in the tissue uh, sorry the blood and then when they are passing through the spleen they are picked up by the spleen macrophages and cleaned up when the macrophage will pick up an exosome exosome of course has the spike protein on it the macrophage would then use that spike protein or the pieces of shred it down and present those pieces to the acquired arm of the immune system for example t helper cells then the t helper cells in turn will activate the b cells to make antibodies or and or t cells 
the cytotoxic T cells to have cellular response. The same response is occurring here as well. The immune system cells over here near the deltoid or in the deltoid near these cells are also doing the same behavior. The other interesting thing in this study that the researchers found was after 14 days of the first dose of Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine, the exosomes were observed in the blood with the spike proteins in them. But antibodies were not yet seen. After 14 days of the second dose, antibodies and more exosomes were seen. So antibodies started getting produced after 14 days of the second dose. I'm sure that these were being produced before as well, but the quantity was less. Then they say, and this is very interesting, they say that these antibodies wane in four months. However, with them, the exosome with the spike proteins in the blood stay on for four months as well, and they wane after four months too. This was a surprise for me because I didn't think that the exosome with the spike protein will continue to be generated for this many months. Although they said the quantity was really low compared to what it was 14 days after the first or second dose, but they were still able to see the waning quantity of it. So that is a study. One last part of this, what they did was they took those exosomes which had the spike proteins on them. Imagine these are like, we are producing Novavax and they took those exosomes and put them in mice and mice developed immunization to SARS-CoV-2 because these exosomes had the spike protein on them. That spike protein was picked up by the mouse immune system cell. They trained themselves. It was almost like giving a vaccine to the mouse. So they are saying, researchers, that this mechanism is an additional mechanism, it's a new novel discovery about the messenger RNA vaccines that there is immune activation through exosomes carrying the antigens. They also found that the nucleocapsid protein, which is also another protein of this virus, doesn't do all this as much as spike protein does it. So this is a study, please tell me if it actually made sense. If it did not, I will redo it. Thank you very much. Talk to you later.